Hello, it's Sandy again for SpectrumNoir.com um, and this month what I thought we'd do was take a look at um, part one of my journey down with the new Aquati Aqua Blend pencils. Um, since receiving these I've um, found I'm completely addicted and there is several different techniques that we can use them for so today I'm going to do show you my first one and then hopefully over the next couple of months I'll slot in um, some more for you so today we're going to be doing a water wash technique and I'm only going to use three pencils and they're from the um, naturals selection so I'm going to use Lagoon Ocean and Aqua which are these colours here for you um, so I've the technique one is we're going to do a colour wash using the colour laid down on the, the paper now to do this we're going to our finished result we're aiming for is these these two cards here and we'll get the toppers done for both of them in in one foul swoop. So this one's a little hard to see, but it is actually, there you go, it is actually um, a full image. But it goes very, very pale at the top, which was, which was how I wanted it. And this one's got that intense colour coming through. So there we go. Right, okay. So that's where we're going. It's always nice to know where we're heading. Let's shift them out of the way. Right, okay. So we're going to use the peacock um, and a white piece of Sheena stamping card. Um, I'm heading towards an A6, a, a UK size A6 card. So all I've done is made it one centimetre smaller on two sides um, for the base mat. And I'm using the peacock die um, from the Crafters Companion um, Kimono collection. So, and I've already die cut it um, because it's too big to go through my diamond press. Um, I didn't want the, the cutting balls making noises because it's right next to me. Um, so I've already die cut it to so that I could show you where it comes from. So I'm going to just push it out of this die where I've been storing it so I didn't lose it. And again, there we go. Right, so we've got him out. the die and it cuts absolutely beautifully I do love it when it embosses and keeps all of the details it's absolutely gorgeous right so now we need to, to stick him down so I'm going to do that with a little bit of the uh, spray and shine uh, stick and spray I don't know what's up with me today uh, And you've seen me um, use this um, for a couple of my um, wet watercolour type techniques before. So we just put it over there. So we'll just give it a second. Um, and it's going tacky on the back, you know. I was hoping you could see it, but you can't. So. Right, okay. So I'm going to stick that in the position that I'd like it. So somewhere around there, because I'm aiming to put like a little sentiment down there. So there we go. Now I've left his little eyepiece in um, because um, on the original, because the top is going to be so pale, um, it's sort of um, left bits off his head. So I'm going to try with leaving that detail in. So what I've done, as you can see, is I've put the aqua down, then the lagoon, and then the ocean. And this is the first technique. So I'm going to I'm using my flat um, blending brush. Uh, this is one of the co for colour washing and I'm just going to take the aqua straight off the paper and you'll see that I'm starting to lift that intense colour and then I'm just going to literally wash it over the head of our die cut I mean, you just have to believe me that die cut isn't stuck there forever it is going to come back up so, and I've got a, a, it's a damp brush, it's not a wet brush, it's just a damp brush. Um, so that we can not drown um, the image because that will cause it to bleed underneath, and we really don't want 
it bleeding underneath. So we're going to come down to about a third. Let's see, way too much. About a third of our image. Okay, and then we're going to change. It's just a tad too wet. Don't want it seeping under. And then we're going to change to the lagoon, which is the next one down. And there's this one's much darker. So what we'll do is we need to go with our damp paintbrush and just go over the line where they both join so that we can ease in to this colour. And you can come over as, as any make whatever pattern you like around the edge. Um, you can have it going all the way to the sides or in random random swings it really is personal preference at this point as long as we get the colour down okay so there we go right trying to get out all of my lines it's a little bit too dry brush there we go that looking? Yeah, that's looking. You can just about see those two colours now. So you see that we've got that laying down of the two colours over the top of the die cut. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm not happy. I've actually need a little bit more aqua. So I'm just going to lay down some more colour onto my piece of paper and I'm just going to go back over where well, I've washed the colour out a bit too much. There we go. Right now, onto our darkest, which is the ocean, which is an absolutely gorgeous blue. I'm not a big blue person, I have a bit turquoisey uh, sea colours where the um, turquoise turns into teal um, is. A really 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 nice colour palette so if I was forced to pick a favourite colour palette that would probably be it right and there we go so it's very 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 pale um, technique um, and you will probably see that best if I grab a piece of coloured card to neutral out the white and there we go you see it's very 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 gentle blending Okay. And if you don't feel that you know you've, it's, it's too pale at the top, you can always add a little bit more of your next colour down, just down one side, because it's one of the beautiful things is that you can change your mind when you're blending colour to colour. You can change your mind and move a bit, stop a bit, mm -hmm. there we go, right, okay, I'm happy with that, so you can see that I've just, just given it a bit more definition over the top, yep, okay, and then the fun bit is, because we used the stick and spray, we can now peel our little peacock off, there he is, and here is my stenciled image. Now that one, as you will see, I've then gone on to mat onto a black A6 card. So I would do exactly the same with this one. Let me mat him onto some black. Um, and... What I, what I did with this little guy was to make him onto the, the black mat onto a white A6 card um, and I did do a little bit of colour washing in the inside as well because I like them to match as you know um, so yeah here we go so this little guy and now you can see him better that little guy is an absolute gorgeous wash of colour and that is actually my favourite if I had to pick I would choose the, this 
over the very very pale colour wash but sometimes you just want to send one of those thinking of you um, and maybe even an in sympathy card if you used a flower or something if you did the colour wash then that would be superb so there we go that's um, been Sandy again for SpectrumNoir.com um, with the first of our journey down with the Spectrum Aqua Blends thank you very much bye